are you living your life on autopilot? Well, first, what even is living life on autopilot? It means you're going through life simply with the motion of it. You're not actively making decisions. Your subconscious is often taking over. And you're basically just going through your day and going through your life as an NPC, a pre-programmed human just wandering around doing what you got to do and doing that on repeat every single day. Now, if what I just said resonates with you, you just took in that, yeah, I am going through my day with my subconscious. I'm not actively making so many decisions. My day to day is pretty much on repeat. Then I'm going to tell you why you're living your life on autopilot. And then I'm going to tell you how you can stop living your life on autopilot and how to be more aware throughout your day, make more conscious decisions and enjoy it to the fullest potential. So the first reason you might be living your life on autopilot is because you have the same routine every day which makes you not have to consciously think so much throughout your day because you're doing the same thing every single day so your subconscious can simply take over so for example you wake up you go to school you come back you eat you do some assignments that you have to do later that night you go to sleep you wake up the next day and you do it all over again having the same exact routine day after day after day makes you live your life on autopilot because when you're doing the same thing every single day it simply becomes a pattern and so it makes it so that you don't need to think so much of the future for yourself because it's already pre-planned for you you know what you're gonna do tomorrow you know what you're gonna do next week it's the same routine that you're doing every single day a really good example that i always find myself doing is when i'm driving so let's say i have a 40 minute drive to do often i'll be driving and then next thing i know i arrive to my destination nation and I'm like when did these 40 minutes pass? I don't remember any of it. And that's because I drive so often that when I do it, my subconscious takes over. I don't remember stopping at red lights. I don't remember switching lanes. I don't remember taking the exit. And so essentially I was driving on autopilot because my subconscious was doing it for me. And so it's the same concept when you have the same routine every day, your subconscious takes over for you and you don't need to be fully aware of it. The second reason you might be living your life on autopilot is by mindlessly consuming content online, whether that be scrolling through TikTok or binge watching TV. TV shows. So in turn, by mindlessly consuming content, these habits become default and they prevent you from actually pursuing your passions, your dreams. And this is because there's a big difference between inputting and outputting. When all you're doing is inputting content, TikTok, Netflix, Instagram, whatever it is, that takes no effort from your part. You're just sitting there watching whatever it is you're watching and taking it in. But on the other side, when you are outputting, whether that be working out, whether that be speaking, whether that be creating, creating anything, a business, Business, content whatever it is when you are outputting that's where your consciousness comes in you need to be aware for this because you are doing something and so if you neglect outputting and all you're doing is inputting 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 that essentially makes you a robot you're not actively doing anything all you're doing is taking something in and you can do that with little to no effort and the third reason you might be living your life on autopilot and this is a very massive and crucial reason is the fear of change when you do something every single day this becomes your routine this becomes your comfort this becomes what you are used to doing and so if any other opportunities arise you are scared of doing it because you're so used to this one routine that you have that you don't want to change it even if it's something that's better for you even if you know that it's good for you you avoid it because you're scared of it you're scared of the unknown you don't know the result of what will happen if you go with this new opportunity but you've been doing the same routine every single day so you're comfortable with it you know that if you stick to it it'll be okay manageable good enough to just pass i actually read this on an article and i found it really interesting it said that most people will actually stick to a job that they don't like for longer than they expected. So they would get a job interview, they would go to the interview, they would get the job, and then once they would start the job, they would realize, mm, I don't really like this. But here's what happens. Most people don't want to quit before six months because it'll look bad on their resume. And so they stick with this job for longer than six months. Despite them not liking it, they stick with it because they don't want it looking bad on their resume. But then once they pass that six month mark, it becomes their new routine this is their job that they're doing every single day and now they become scared of changing it they don't want to leave this job anymore because they're scared of the fear of change they're so used to doing this job and this routine every single day even if they don't like it they don't want to try changing it to something else so now how do you stop how do you stop living your life on autopilot well the first thing is that you need to have a why you need to have a purpose in your life so you got to take a 
step back, look at your life objectively and say, what gives me fulfillment? What do I like doing in my life and in my day-to-day -day routine? And by just doing that, you might realize something about yourself that you never really thought of before. Something that you are interested in, whether that be fitness, fashion, makeup, reading, art, creativity, literally anything. So once you realize that, the second thing is to challenge yourself to try new things. Whether that be picking up a new hobby, trying something that you've never tried before. Because when you challenge yourself to do something new, that is when you need to be fully consciously aware of whatever it is you're doing. It's not like your regular routine. You can brush that off and have your subconscious do that. When you're doing something new, you need to be aware, you need to be focused, and you need to be doing it. I mean, you can probably reflect back to a time that you did something for the first time and you can remember the whole situation vividly because you were fully present and aware in that exact moment in time. And at the end of the day, that's the only reason you grow as a person, if you're constantly trying new things. And the amazing thing is that by constantly doing that, constantly trying new things, you'll come across something that you really enjoy. And that might be your new path that you'll pursue, which could lead to a new career for yourself, but you'll never know if you never try. And the third way to stop living your life on autopilot is to step out of your comfort zone. Now, a comfort zone is different for everybody. But for example, let's say you have social anxiety. Perfect. Challenge yourself to talk to a stranger every day. And I know that's scary. It's like, no, no, no. I always go every single day with just doing what I'm comfortable by doing, avoiding everybody, not saying a word to everybody, doing my routine. But I'm telling you to step out of that routine and do something different. Step out of your comfort zone. You see a stranger, you like their shoes, compliment it. You haven't seen a friend in a long time, give them a call, go hang out with them. Do things that you are not used to doing because it'll make you aware, it'll get rid of that autopilot mentality and it'll shape and build your character for the better. Because when you're constantly stepping out of your comfort zone in every way, shape and form, you're putting yourself in situations that you aren't often being put into, which makes you adapt, which makes you learn and which makes you grow as a person. And the whole point of this video, it makes you aware during this situation because you're not used to it. Because listen, you have one life and are you really going to go about this life not really knowing what's going on and always having your subconscious take over? Make the best of it, man. Talk to as many strangers as you can. Take pictures of everything. Do what you want to do every single day. Turn your life into the best story there is to tell. But you won't be able to do that if you're always stuck in your bubble and your same routine and going through life on autopilot. So starting right now, starting today, do things that make you uncomfortable. Step out of your comfort zone. Try new things. And I promise you, you'll feel so much more aware, so much more awake, and you'll feel like a human because you're constantly putting yourself in different situations where you have to react differently and where you consciously need to be present. Anyways, hope this video helped. This is a topic that I was thinking to myself a lot about. So I wanted to just make a video about it because it related to me and I know that I related to a lot of you guys as well. So I hope it helps. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. I always make the comment sections a community. This way we can interact with each other, answer questions. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you know exactly when I upload. And that's it. I will see you in the next video.